Alright guys, what's up? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add album artwork to your files. Uh, this is to get the artwork to show in Scratch Live. Uh, if you don't know, uh, there's an option in Scratch Live to be able to show the artwork down here for your files. And when you click that button, show album artwork, you'll have this little box. And when you highlight the song, you'll see the album artwork down here. Uh, this is good for a lot of you old school vinyl DJs that used to remember your tracks by the album art cover or the vinyl sleeve or the sticker on the vinyl. Uh, so this is good uh, visual way to remember your tracks. So unfortunately you can't embed the file, the artwork, in Scratch Live. You're going to have to use a, a separate program to do that. Uh, there's a lot of different ones you can use. I'm going to be using iTunes since it's already on the Mac. Um, if you're on a PC you can use Media Monkey. I think Winamp can embed an album, album artwork. Uh, well basically just a little, any type of good ID3 tag editor should be able to embed the artwork into the files. Uh, it's important thing to note though that album artwork only works for MP3 and AC, AAC files in Scratch Live. So if you use WAV files or A files, uh, you can't uh, have artwork, unfortunately. Um, so anyways, um, to get the artwork, there's a lot of different places you can find album artwork. Um, Amazon.com is a good one if you play a lot of you know, top 40 rap stuff. Uh, Discogs.com is another good one. Uh, if you play electronic dance music, you can use Juno. They're pretty good. They got a lot of um, artwork for all their records they sell and digital files. So, um, so first thing, uh, as I said, I'm going to be using iTunes to do this, so open it up. Uh, obviously, uh, you're going to have to import the file first into iTunes. And the file I was using was Snoop Dogg, Gin and Juice. And then down here in the bottom left corner, you'll see this box that says drag album artwork here. And that's basically all you have to do. So we need to go find the album artwork first of all. So um, let's go online. And as I mentioned, um, a couple of the sites you can use, I'm going to be using Discogs. So D-I-S-C-O-G-S dot com. Go there. Uh, do a search for your artist. So ooh, Snoop Doggy Dog. Got that street. Oh well. Uh, all right, so there we go. Snoop Dogg, and then I was looking for gin juice. Doesn't appear to be on there. Oh, let me go to here first. Okay, so uh, gin and juice is on his album Doggy Style, classic uh, hip hop album. So here we go. We got a picture of the album artwork cover. Let's get the bigger version. Now you can uh, just right click this and you know save it to your desktop or wherever. Uh, but you can just drag it straight from here onto the box in iTunes, so that's all you have to do. If you don't want to save it on your actual computer, so just uh, click the picture, hold your mouse button down, and drag it over here into the box. And you should see a little green plus sign, meaning it's ready to be dropped, so just drop it right there. And there you go, that's basically it. You got the album artwork embedded into the file now. And that's all there is to it, really. Uh, you just simply repeat the process now for... All your other files which may or may not take a long time uh, but yeah I mean that's basically it how you embed the out artwork into the file so let's close out of iTunes now and if we open scratch live we should see the album artwork now and there we go down here um, so yeah I mean that's basically it that's how you add album artwork to files uh, to get it to display down here in scratch live 